Hello and welcome to Fried Eggs Golf. Do not adjust your monitors. I am on a golf course right now. Uh, I am actually gonna do my very first course vlog. Uh, you're gonna notice some shoddy camera work and some shoddy play. But I figure, hey, you gotta start somewhere. So uh, I'm out here at Riverbend Golf Course in Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's a local track, uh, public golf course. It's uh, in very lush condition right now, especially because it just rained. So uh, it is a little bit soggy out there, but we're gonna go out and I'm gonna do a nine hole, cor nine hole course vlog, hopefully, but uh, you might not see all of it because my battery might die and I might not get all of it in, but I will record as much as I can and hopefully uh, you will enjoy whatever's about to happen. So here we go. First hole is a par four, pretty much straight away. Um, you can see the kind of goofy antenna tower that actually blocks right side of the fairway there. But uh, the hole is pretty much straight down. You can see it kind of dog legs a little bit left. But other than that, it's just a nice, easy fairway wood down the first hole. Nothing too crazy. Uh, so yeah, let's rip one. <clears throat> I hit down the right hand side. I uh, drew back a little bit. Uh, right now, looks like yardage wise, pins kind of center up front right. Not too difficult there. We're looking at 148 yards for the flag. Uh, I'm just going to kind of ease a nine iron in there, I think, especially out of this rough. Ball's definitely not going to bounce because it is super wet out. But uh, yeah, let's just. Smooth a nine iron in there. Let's see what we got. Ah, uh, same exact shot. I hit off the feet. Just a block right, left it open. Uh, still got on the green there but just left it out just a tad bit to the right. The putt breaks pretty severely from right to left. Uh, probably play it a couple feet outside. I don't know, I mean, like I said, the greens have been aerated and I'm not sure how fast they are. And I didn't really practice, so. Uh, or take any putts on the putting green up by the clubhouse, so we'll see how they roll. Wow, feels like it breaks way more. Two putt, two putt par, good way to start. First hole, cold out of the car. So, on to the next. So here we are at the second hole. It's a uh, par five, but uh, this is really the, uh, your aiming point if you're gonna you know, hit a fairway wood. But the problem is that wood ends at about 250 yards. So you can't really hit driver here, but I don't like not hitting driver on a par five. So what I like to do, is aim at these clump of trees and hit uh, a hard fade and just you can't really fade this shot too much so I'm not really worried about going too far right I just aim at those trees and try to hit the biggest cut I possibly can Okay. 
A lot of work it wasn't perfectly as planned i admitted not the best at left to right this is where my uh, tee shot ended up right here this mound is actually that bunker the back side of it that i was talking about and those are those clump of trees i was aiming at but uh you know i hit a straight ball and the rule is is never aim where a straight ball will hurt you so i didn't i don't think i can get there in two because i don't know if you can hear but the wind is howling pretty hard uh kind of right to left a little bit in my face but you know i'm gonna try anyway not like I'm out here uh, setting any records, so uh, we will hit a three wood. I'm just gonna aim it once again. You got all the world right, so there's really no reason to do anything except uh, really play a shot out towards these trees and try to hit a, a, a fairly heavy draw in. And if I over hit a draw, I still should be all right. Super quick, caught it on the bottom of the golf club. Uh, can't really see from the camera because I balanced or I leveled it, but the uh, ball was quite a bit below my feet, and I just didn't really adjust for it that well, and caught the bottom side of the club. Uh, you probably saw it because it never let, I got above the trees, but uh, it ended up all right. So hey, good miss. Wait, okay, yeah, 38 yards I shot that at. Uh, if this was any other day, I would take like a 54. And I would bump it into that, that bank right in front of the green here and let it run up. Uh, but unfortunately, it's just rained so much today that I don't think that's necessarily the play. Uh, going against my better judgment, I'm going to play a 60 degree wedge. And I'm going to open the face a little bit and try to fly it all the way to the green and let it stop fast. Already knowing that the, the greens are pretty soft and receptive, so hopefully it'll hold the shot. Just kind of pushed it a little bit right. Give that a go. Probably pretty good if I hit it. commit to that but kind of yanked it. Uh, I think the play once again the guard from that left miss is right at those pine trees really and let it work left if it wants to but yeah right side of those pines yeah go that way. Yeah, well, that was a heavy push, not hitting the draw. Uh, I have 120 yards in. Uh, I am blocked out by these branches. They go up actually much higher than that. And I don't really have a straight shot at the hole. Um, <laughs> and they go out to about right here in the line I'm gonna hit. So I don't, can't really play a fade in. So what I'm gonna do is just try my best to uh, hit just like a low Jeez, like a low seven iron and try to shove it underneath this branch here and let it run up to the green. Other than that, I just don't have much to work with. If 
Well, I think it went bunker to bunker there. I flipped that tree branch and kind of kicked it to the left into that left side trap, I think, or at least pretty close to it. So let's go play in the sand again. I don't even know if I've been telling you what clubs I've been hitting, but yeah, 54 degree. Nice little bump and run here. That was not very good. Kind of pulled across it once again. The ball jumped on me and took off up the hill. That was gross. Is the right line is too much pace on it. Oh, that bums me out. Well, in theory, then it should break back left going up there. All right, bogey. Stupid tee shot. Coming off a of bogey. Uh, this is the next hole here. It's 352 yards, par four. It's kind of silly because uh, this is the fairway here, and it's a 90 degree dog leg left, and the green actually sits right over the pond here. Now, the normal play on a normal day is to hit maybe a hybrid or a long iron up here and try to work its way that way. But that looks more intriguing to me right now because uh, I'm, I'm upset about that bogey. All right, well, knowing that I'm not really getting through anything and leaving everything right. I'm going to play this a little more aggressively actually out towards this way and hopefully the ball will, will stay out right like it has been. Sounds like a plan. And I hit it directly on that line. Fly. Fly, fly, fly. Yeah, I got it. All right, so a stupid decision paid off. Now that I've had a little time to walk down the fairway here and think about what I just did, that's how a round, a bad round gets worse. You make a bogey, you make a uh, irrational decision to go for it even though you haven't been hitting it well all day. Quiet! And uh, it paid off. It doesn't usually work like that though. Usually when you do something stupid like that, you hit it in a lake, and then you get uh, penalized because you uh, you got angry. This is not the best angle to hit a low shot once again, so I have to hit something high lofted from 60 yards. I would say, well, I'm about five yards back, so 55 yards, something high lofted. I'm gonna go into my 60 degree wedge and just kind of hit a nice mid trajectory pitch because I know the greens are soft and uh, Really gonna play something just over that left side of the bunker and hopefully it, it feeds down to the hole. Hopefully. Give it a shot. Let's see. Well, it's going to work out okay, but it was very mucky, and the uh, club just grabbed right underneath the ball there. Oh, oh. Didn't fall. Go right to left here. Ball outside firm. Ah, that's aggravating. Three putt. So, 
All right, so we're here at the next hole. It is a par three, uh, 165 yards. It's a uh, big pond cuts off the front side of the green here, but that really doesn't come into play. We're looking at 142 yards is what it's gonna play today. So the pin is way up front there. And I'm gonna hit just a nice nine iron. Just a nice smooth nine iron. With some solid contact. That's a double cross. So here we are again. Uh, short sided. Uh, it's not as bad a slope as I thought it would be. I'm, I'm, I'm a little more uphill than I thought I would be. So I'm going to actually play a little bump and run here into the fringe and let it trickle out onto the green and let it roll out. Carried it like two feet too far. Actually carried it onto the flat side of the fringe there, and I was planning on hitting it more into the uh, right into the upslope there, and it just carried onto the flat, so it ran out a little bit farther than what I would like. Bogey train continues. And we have a par three that is playing about 147 yards. So fairly close to the last hole. It's kind of unorthodox to have back-to-back -back par threes, but that's what we have in this case. Uh, and once again, pond left, pond right, but they don't really come into play. Uh, the trick on this hole is really the green. It kind of sucks. Uh, not that it sucks that it's a bad green, but it's just, it's tough. Uh, you, you can't miss the green pin high left or right. Everything has to be sure, otherwise you have a nearly impossible up and down. So I'm going to play a nine iron in and just kind of pull it off a little bit and hopefully play it just below the hole and get away with one hand. Actually did what I said I was gonna do. There's my ball, just short, but as you can see, it is straight up the hill, which is what I wanted. Uh, pitch mark is here, so it actually hit hit the green and then backed up to that spot. But that's exactly where I said I wanted to miss it if I did. So nothing wrong with that. Straight up the hill. Let's uh, give it a run for birdie. Let's see what we can come away with. Off the bogey train. So, on to the next hole. All right, on the seventh hole, the sun is starting to set here, so try to pick up the pace a little bit, see if we can get this in. 
This hole is, uh, I think it's like 370, something like that, along those lines. Uh, the line is really, it, it's right over the top of that tree just, and just pound a hard fade. And this is another one of those shots where you have a, a pretty good distance left after this pond. So missing it right is really where the, the penalty is. So we're going to go right down that line, hard fade. Birdie, birdie. Wow, starting to warm up. We're going to start the vlog right here. All right, so here we are, uh, left side of the fairway. Uh, we are sitting at About 90 yards, so that's going to be a hard, you know, in these conditions, probably a hard 60 degree. It looks like the flag, um, if you can see it, it's actually sitting right there. And from this angle, it's hard to tell, but it's actually front right, and it is barely, I'd say it's barely on the right hand side, so the play's probably not at the flag, the play's probably right at the split tree right here, and we'll see if we can't work it in off of there with just a slight fade. Here we go. Work. Ah. Slight pull fade there. I started it just, just inside, right about that tree, and then it worked its way to that. So, well, that's kind of discouraging there. Uh, needed to hit it 90 yards, and I hit it about 98 yards. Dead on line, just didn't hit it. Now I've left myself a nice two and a half foot downhill putt, which is always fun. All right, stop the bleeding at least. A little disappointed in that approach shot. I really thought that have had closer to eight to ten feet but wow yeah I hit that 60 really well well I apologize about the low light but it is closing in on dusk I'm gonna try to rush through these last two holes here this is a par five it's pretty monstrous I want to say this is close to 560 from back here at the back of the tee box so it's just driver up the gap here between these two rows of trees and kind of a nice, really tight fairway. over. Ah! Not a horrible shot. Just left the face open just a tad and uh, just started it right down the, the right side there and it never turned over. I got a pretty clear shot here. Left myself a, at least an okay look. I um, haven't shot it yet so I'm not 100% sure what I'm working with. 246. That is a perfect three wood carry distance for me. So I think that if I rip a fairway just 
Well, I'm gonna get more aggressive. I'm gonna go right at it and let it leak right if it wants to leak right. I'm getting sick of not hitting shots where I want them to go. So we're gonna play a, a, a once again a uh, non-safe play, which a safe play would be here to lay up, but I'm gonna go with the green since I've been striking it so phenomenally. Well, I have no idea. It's too dark to see where that actually ended up. All right. Well, once again, I apologize if your video is getting grainy. It is getting very dark out. But uh, blowing it up, <laughs> in my luck, it, it, pin high, just right of the green. I really thought I had that one right on it. I kind of lost it in the low light. But uh, I can't be too disappointed with that. That's, uh, I'll take that from, from 245. But we have... Uh, a fairly straightforward chip shot. It looks like it, it, it's a, it leaks away down the hill, kind of works itself this way. So I'm going to try to, you know, flop one, well not flop one, but kind of just loft one up right in here with a 54 degree and let it trickle down to the hole, hopefully. We'll see if that works. Stay high. Ah, I didn't leave it up high enough. Yeah, that was just lack of concentration there. Yanked it. Well, we've reached the ninth hole, and you can see the power lines here that were on the right-hand side of the first hole when we started. So we're going back up towards the clubhouse. Hole sits right up here, uh, pretty straight away. Uh, the green is severely above the fairway, above where our tee shot's going to land. So we'll have kind of a difficult second shot, but let's not worry about that now. Let's get one uh, right about here's the starting line. Uh, actually, I'll probably start it more this way and let it fade in. It seems like the fade's been working today, so we're going to hit a hard fade go from there okay there we go. all right one more good one one more good one I think it's gonna end up all right. I lost it actually. Started left, came out of that one, caught it on the heel. Yeah, it's not gonna be a very good. Bet. Hopefully, it stayed center. So you can see my ball here. Uh, this being the center line and the just you know right center of the fairway. So that's a lesson learned why you get custom fit for a driver. Because even when you hit it crappy, it still ends up all right. So here we go. Uh, flag stick is actually right at the base of that tree right there. You can barely see it, but you can see the elevated green I was talking about. We're at 122 yards. It's uphill, so it's going to play closer to uh, 125, 126. But we are a little downwind, so I'm going to I'm going to hit a hard 50 degree. I feel like my wedges have been flying. And I'm just going to hit a hard 50. I got a little bit of wind behind me. Let's give this a rip. Blow wind. I think I went long. If you've noticed, 
I've been out of breath maybe talking before the shots because I've had to run to every one for the last three holes in order to get this done in time. So apologize if I seem gassed. And uh, just coming over the crest here, and it looks like I was long, but it did spin back just a tad. So not a horrible shot, but not at all what I was hoping for. About time. So, that was an eventful round of golf. This is a weird position. I'm gonna get closer, tilt this back. Uh, we just got done playing out here at River Bend. I'm out of gas because I ran the last three holes. But, uh, course is in beautiful condition. Holy cow. Uh, it's early spring here where I live, so this is phenomenal shape. The greens just were aerated three days ago and they were rolling very true. Uh, but what you just witnessed is a pretty much typical round of golf for me. I make a couple bogeys, a couple birdies, uh, shot two over, which I'm actually not that upset about as poorly as I hit some shots and just made some bad decisions. Just poor lines, really, I don't know. It, it, uh, it, was, it was odd. But overall, it was fun for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. Please comment and let me know uh, not only if you want to see more videos like this, more more course vlogs, but how I did. I don't, I've never done one of these before without having drunk goggles on. So uh, it uh, it was fun for me, and I feel like it was uh, I don't know, not a waste of time. So if you if you enjoyed watching the video, thumbs it up. But put in the description what I can do better. I'm always uh, willing to hear some criticism and, and let me know how I can improve these. Obviously, I would like to do it with uh, uh, you know, you know choose my words differently here. I would like to do one of these with Quentin or Brian and have them here to, to kind of talk to and have a conversation with because it's it's hard to carry this and, and charge the camera and do all the behind the scenes stuff. So uh, I'm rambling now. I uh, had fun. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks again for River Bend. If you ever have a chance to, to come up to Fort Wayne, Indiana, I, I recommend this course. It's a public course, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's uh, second to none condition wise. And I just, I had a great time and I really love playing this, this golf course. So, uh, thanks. And I'm going to end it on that. So we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.